Hello and welcome to 8.1 Notes. Let's start off with the Polygon Interior Angles Theorem, which states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n-gon is n minus 2 times 180. So um, let's uh, kind of pick this apart and kind of explore this a little bit more. Um, the sum of the measures. So this is regarding the total angular measurement of <clears throat> the interior angles. So it would be the angles only inside of the figure. We're only talking about angles that are inside of the figure with this theorem. And it has to be a, a convex n-gon. Um, we've gone over in the past um, past chapters what an n-gon is. It's, uh, n refers to either the number of sides or the number of angles. It's the same. It would be the same thing because the number of sides equals the number of angles in a convex polygon, right? And then it the answer is, you, the way you figure out the sum of the measures is you use this quick little formula. You take the number of sides of the figure or the number of angles of the figure. Um, like I said, the number of sides equals the number of angles. You take that number, you subtract 2, and you multiply it by 180 actually degrees. It's 180 degrees. And um, you get the sum of the measures. So, let me bring that back. Okay, so the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n-gon, where n is either the number of sides or the number of angles, is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So let's look at something really basic, like say if you have a triangle. We can call this a 3-gon. Of course, we don't call it a 3-gon, we call it a triangle. Uh, but the word tri does mean 3, because it refers to 3 angles or three sides, right? Um, so it's a, a three-gon. So according to the formula, we go three minus two, or one, times 180 degrees, which is 180 degrees. And as you know, the total angular measurement inside of a triangle is 180 degrees. So you see how that works? Moving right along, say if it's like a square or a rectangle, this is a foregon. Again, of course, we don't call it a foregon, but it does have four sides or four angles, correct? So um, the formula is 4 minus 2, which is 2. 2 times 180 degrees is 360 degrees. And that's what this is, right? Because these are four right angles. 90 times 4 is 360. So it's nothing new. It's just that you take the number of sides again, or the number of angles, in the, in the figure, subtract 2, multiply by 180 degrees, and you get the total angular measurement inside of that figure. So, in this case, if you have a, a six-sided figure like this, it's either a six-sided figure or six angles, okay? This is a, a six-gon, basically. So you would go six minus two, which is four, times 180 degrees, and this one would have 720 degrees total angular measurement um, inside. Okay? Um, okay, so that's the formula. For the in interior, the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon, n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So how is this going to be used? What kind of problems could you typically get? Well, Problems like this. A Canadian dollar is in the shape of a regular 11-gon. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. Also, find the measure of each angle. Okay? So we have two things to do. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles and also find the measure of each angle. So the answer, we'll start with the first part, which is just uh, finding the sum of the measures of the interior angles. Remember the formula. The formula for the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. You take the number of sides, subtract 2, multiply by 180 degrees. Well, this is an 11-gon, right? So it's going to be 11 minus 2 times 180 degrees, or 9 times 180 degrees. And here we have the sum. Uh, it's 1,620 degrees, okay, is the 
um, sum of the measures of the interior angles. Now to find the measure of each angle, what we do is we take that total sum, 1620, and divide it by 11, because there's 11 um, uh, angles inside of the uh, polygon, and it's regular, so each angle is going to be the same measurement. So you go 1620 divided by 11, and you get that each angle, um, the measure of each angle in this Canadian dollar is going to be 147.27 degrees. Okay? Um, I think actually that's 0.27 repeating. Okay, um, so moving right along. The next concept is the polygon exterior angles theorem, which states that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, one angle at each vertex, is 360 degrees. So unlike the sum of the interior angles in a convex polygon, the sum of the exterior angles does not depend on the number of sides, okay? It does not depend on the, on the number of sides. It's always 360 degrees, no matter if it's a three-sided figure, a four-sided figure, five-sided figure, etc., etc. So we'll just kind of show a simple, basic uh, triangle, right? So we have a triangle. This is an exterior angle. This is an exterior angle, and that's an exterior angle. If you add up the measurement of angle 1 with angle 2 with angle 3, you'll get 360 degrees. And if you have, say, a four-sided figure, and you have, remember this is this theorem is just talking about the exterior angles. So if you add up this angle with this angle with this angle with this angle, again, you're going around the figure, three, well, I shouldn't do it inside, 360 degrees. Okay, um, even if it were an octagon, it doesn't matter. Remember, the number of sides doesn't matter. So, drawing the exterior angles. Okay, and then the sum of the measure of the exterior angles. This would be five and six, seven and eight. The sum of those going all the way around the figure is 360 degrees. And that's sort of the way I remember it, because in all three cases, you're going around. So I'm going around the outside of the figure. I'm going around the outside of this figure. I'm going around the outside of the figure. And to me, the way I um, you know, can remember this theorem a little bit easier is you're going around the figure. So that's why you get that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees and it does not depend on the number of sides of the polygon. Okay? So remember, for the sum of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, you're always going around the figure. So think around, think circle, and that's why it's always 360 degrees no matter how many sides or how many angles are in that convex polygon, okay? So in this case, we had a five-sided figure. It doesn't matter, though. You're still going around the figure, so think circle, and that's why you get 360 degrees. Okay, so the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is going to be 360 degrees always, no matter the number of sides. So what kind of problems can you expect with this theorem? Well, how about this? A convex hexagon has exterior angles with measures 34 degrees, 49 degrees, 58 degrees, 67 degrees, and 75 degrees. What is the measure of an exterior angle at the sixth vertex? So a hexagon has six vertices, and we want to find out what the missing angle is, what the measure of the missing angle is. So, the way you figure that out, well, remember our little formula here, the formula for the exterior angles, it's always that the sum is 360 degrees. So, we have that the total sum is 360 degrees, therefore, 34 plus 49 plus 58 plus 67 plus 75 degrees, plus the missing value, because again, it's a... Um, 
a hexagon. Hexagon is six sided. And we have one, two, three, four, five. And then X is the missing angle. All of those total 360 degrees because we're talking about the exterior angles, the outside angles. Okay? So then moving right along, um, you add up the um, individual angular measurements and you get 283 degrees plus the missing value is equal to 360 degrees. I should probably have a degree symbol there. Um, and then you subtract 280 degrees from both sides and you get your final answer 77 degrees. So the um, angular measurement of the sick at the sixth vertex is 77 degrees. Okay? So that's the end of um, this lecture of these notes. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, you're um, perfectly welcome to, you know, come ask me and it would be my pleasure to help you. Okay? Bye-bye.